Level one, this is your combo two for this cycle. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so I'll show you what it looks like from the side. Okay, so do with me now, we're starting with a step and left knee. Now when I step forwards with my right leg, I need to make sure that my foot is turned out to the side. This opens my hips up for more power, it's going to give me more balance too. Bring your left hand up and pull that down as you drive your hips forwards, landing your leg in front. Next we've got an overhand punch with the right hand. So to do this, I just move my head off the line a little bit and your arm comes up and over the top of the guard, hitting with those two big knuckles. So this might come right over the top of someone's guard, particularly effective if you're shorter than the person who you're sparring, okay? So I'll do that one more time. We're stepping, kneeing, landing in front, and then moving your head, hand comes over the top. Now, you can practice this, uh, this punch just by wheeling your arm a little bit, kind of like you're bowling a cricket ball, except when you're bowling, your arms stay straight. We're going to have a bend in the arm right here, but just remember that your hand is turned over, you hit with those two big knuckles, and don't forget to keep your other hand on your cheek just in case they might be throwing a kick at the same time. Okay? Your weight is shifted over to your left leg, now you're going to turn your body, weight is shifting back to the right as your body hook to finish lifting off your front heel. Okay? So weight has come from here, and you're shifting it back over to get power. Once I've finished that body hook, I snap back to the guard and then move back again. Do it one more time with me. Tap, tap, guards up, chin down, your shoulders are up, covering your chin. Step, knee, land in front. Move your head off the line as your overhand punch and keep that bend in your arm. Now shift your weight back, body hook. Now you want your palm to be facing you for this body hook versus doing it this way or here where it's more of an uppercut, shifting the weight and back to your guard and slide back, okay? So go ahead and practice that and we'll see you in classes.